Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a really quick video on liquid lipsticks. Um, and basically how I get my liquid lipstick to not look dry and flaky on my lips. Because all of my liquid lipsticks always look dry and flaky on my lips or they start to crumble. And it just makes my lips look icky. So um, I actually got a question on my Snapchat from someone who asked me how do I get my liquid lipstick to look shiny. So... Um, basically what I do is I apply a lip gloss before I apply my liquid lipstick. Um, and I know a lot of people will usually just say use a lip balm, use chapstick, apply chapstick first and then apply your um, liquid lipstick, but that never works for me. Um, and no matter how much I exfoliate and apply chapstick and, and lip masks and all that stuff, it never works for me. So I discovered that lip gloss works for me. So I'm going to show you guys, um... A quick collection of my liquid lipsticks and I'm going to do a demo on how I apply my liquid lipstick and if you're interested just keep on watching okay so for my collection I don't own that many liquid lipsticks so I'm just gonna show them to you really quickly and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do swatches and post them on my Instagram so if you want to see swatches of my collection of any that you see here today um, go ahead and follow me on Instagram I'm gonna post the swatches on there and yeah so let me show you my liquid lipstick. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my newest addition to the collection and these are the new Kat Von D um, liquid lipsticks. These are the new colors that she just released and these are the everlasting liquid lipsticks. And I only have two shades. I have in the color Aisha and Susperia. So this is what they look like. These are my favorite so far. These do not budge. From your lips at all okay the next ones i have are from anastasia and i have one two three four five of them because i love obviously these are my favorite <laughs> and i have five of them let's see i have lovely trust issues which i just recently got i have craft veronica which i also recently just bought and karina and they look like this And then I also have two from Dosa Colors, and I have the colors Black Rose and Bury Me, and these look like this. This is Bury Me, and this is uh, Black Rose. And then the last one I have is from Lime Crime, it's the only one I have from Lime Crime, and it's Cashmere, and I don't really wear this one often because it doesn't really look that great on me. It's almost, um, it's almost too light for me. So this one's not really a fave. But yeah, those are all my liquid lipsticks and I'm going to post um, swatches on my Instagram. So check those out. Okay, so for the demo, I'm going to be using Anastasia Craft Liquid Lipstick. And it looks like this. Alright, and basically what I always do before I apply liquid lipstick is I exfoliate. Exfoliating is a must in my opinion. I recommend exfoliating it will make a big difference so a couple of exfoliators that I like or lip exfoliators that I like are from what is from Lush and it's the bubblegum lip scrub let's see if that focuses looks like this and it's in a pink pink jar and it comes in other um, flavors as well this is just my favorite because it tastes like bubblegum and the other one that I really like is from Bite Beauty, and it's their Whipped Cherry Exfoliant. And it looks like this. This is Bite right here. It's also pink. And it looks like something like this. So those two are my favorite. So I recommend doing that first. Um, and then the next thing I do is I apply the lip gloss first. Um, I never use a lip liner, but if you want to use a lip liner, I probably recommend putting the lip liner first and then the lip gloss over it. Um, and you don't need a lot of lip gloss either. So the ones that I've been like, I've been liking to use. Is that a word? The ones that I like to use are um, this one is from City Lips, and this is actually a plumping lip gloss. Um, I have really small lips, so I like something that will help plump up my lips a little bit, especially my top lip. So this one has been really working for me. This one's in a clear formula. Um, I recommend using either a clear formula 
or something that doesn't have much color in it so like a light pink or kind of like those really sheer lip glosses um, and you only need a little bit of this so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I apply it I pretty much only apply it on my top lip that's pretty much all I use I'm gonna rub my lips together I mean, this one is a little bit sticky, not too sticky. And I recommend not getting, not using a lip gloss that slips and slides everywhere. It needs to have some kind of tackiness in order for this to work. So, usually just leave this on while I do the rest of my makeup. But in this case, who cares? Another lip gloss I recommend is one from Buxom. This is the only one that I own. This is um, in the color White Russian. It looks like this. This one doesn't really have much color. It's like very, very light, pale pink. You can see that, yeah. And this one also has um, a plumping effect or feeling, tingly feeling. So I really enjoy this one. But it's up to you. I just recommend don't use one that slips and slides everywhere because it might ruin your whole lip. Okay, so now that you've left the lip gloss on for a couple of minutes, um, yeah, um, then go ahead and apply a liquid lipstick. All right. So it's going to take a little longer than usual to dry, but when it dries completely, it will have a little bit of a sheen. It won't look completely matte. It won't really accentuate the dryness of your lips, the lines. Um, it won't crumble up. Um, and it just lasts. It even makes it last even longer. Um, I've been wearing this. I've been doing this trick for a while now, and I wear it to work, and it lasts all day without I don't even have to touch up unless I eat something of course but um, it's been working great for me um, and I guess people have been noticing because I got a question on it on my snapchat so um, yeah it's still gonna look matte See, it's still it's still a little bit sticky but little by little it'll start to look completely matte um and the lip gloss won't make it slip and slide because it's pretty much like adhered to the color so i wouldn't worry about that and yeah let me know if you try this or if you've already been trying this because i've never seen a video about this before i kind of just started experimenting and found that this works for me really well um, so yeah, let me know if you try it, if it works for you, if you like it or not. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. <laughs> so I wanted to do a close-up of what it looks like after a while. And this is the results.